everybody, so what I've got here is the Archimedes screw that we made by 3D printing for running a water generator and I've been asked the question a lot, how strong is a 3D print? Now, that's a really difficult question to answer because it depends what you do with it. I mean, chuck it in a drawer, it's going to be 100,000 years, take an angle grinder to it, well, a couple of seconds. So it really depends what it is you're going to do. Now, it is plastic, OK? So it's never going to be as good as metal. But bear in mind, most of the gears in your printer, your desktop printer, they're plastic. They're just nylon. Also, I tend to print from PLA because I get given it and it's dirt cheap and the bio rolls like 15 quid or so. So a lot of this stuff is PLA. So the material will depend, the use will depend. But even so, people want an idea of how actually strong it is. Now, it depends on how you print it. Because remember, you've got a filament and you're laying it out. So it's got a grain like a wood. And what I've got here is what they call a bone. It's a standard test piece. This has been printed so the grain runs that way. And if I do that, well, it snaps really, really easily. It's pathetic how easily it snaps. This one is another bone, but this time the grain is actually running that way. And if I try to do that, Jesus, <laughs> there you go, I can snap it. But the force required is an awful lot more. So, unfortunately, you have to think about it. And that's going to be a bit depressing for some people. But remember, it's got a grain. And if you put it in the right way, you can improve the strength of it unbelievably. Now, for the people who like numbers, this is PLA at 0.2 millimeter nozzle, 0.2 millimeter step size and 20% infill. So it's not a particularly strong one anyway. Even so got to think about it and that will make one of the greatest improvements to the strength of anything that you're going to do just by thinking of the grain direction. Now because this is PLA there's also something else we can do. We can do this with different plastics using different materials but PLA bonds superbly well with this stuff. This is crazy glue, super glue if you like. If you coat the thing with super glue, the super glue will seep into the little lines that we've got in there and with little lines in there, it forms a kind of composite. So it's no longer just PLA printed, it's actually a PLA super glue composite. And if we get a bit of a spray with some activator once it's had a chance to soak in, what we make is a composite plastic. <laughs> oh, good God. Okay, we can bend it, but we're not breaking that anytime soon, so that's kind of cool, eh? Now, I have been suggested to me uh, that you put them in the oven and give them a bit of heat to get them to fuse together. To be honest, that's a terrible idea. Uh, you can't control the heat in an oven. What will happen is your plastic parts will warp and you'll end up with bits dropping off and bits sort of like twisted. So don't do that, it's a waste of time. But, simple trick. Cover it with crazy glue and spray it with the activator and in a couple of seconds you'll have a piece that you're going to find pretty hard to break as it happens. Um, don't need the activator, you could just leave it in with covered in crazy glue and let it harden all by itself. The activator means you won't stick it to your fingers, but it really is surprisingly strong. I mean, it's strong by itself. You do something like that and you get a material that you're going to have a difficulty breaking. Anyway, it's a little tip I thought I would share with you. I hope it was of interest. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to like and subscribe.